This is a demonstration of Interactive Phrasebook, a mission rehearsal tool created by Smart Information Flow Technologies. It was developed under funding of a Small Business Innovative Research Phase I grant sponsored by the Army Research Laboratory. The main objective of the program was to examine the feasibility of an interactive mission planning and rehearsal tool that can enhance the cognitive readiness of soldiers who may have a wide range of social encounters with members of foreign cultures. Interactive Phrasebook targets social and cultural awareness by focusing on the notion of politeness. Interactive Phrasebook allows the human user to take on the role of an actor and interact with various computer characters to achieve certain goals specified in a scenario. The outcomes of a scenario depend on how the human user chooses to interact, which in turn depends on calculations made by the Etiquette Engine, which was developed by SIFT under various prior programs. In short, the Etiquette Engine is a computational model of human-human interactions that is derived from Brown and Levinson's theories of politeness. It takes into account contextual information such as social distance and power distance between two actors, as well as the nature of the communication between them, and evaluates whether a phrase would be perceived as rude, polite, or nominal. Let's begin. First, the user selects an actor to represent him or herself, who will be the speaker in the scenario. Attributes of that actor can then be modified. For example, we may change the culture of the actor. Note that an actor's culture may influence how interactions are evaluated. The character attribute quantifies the general tendency of this actor to be either rude or polite. A high positive value means this actor is consistently overly polite, whereas a high negative value means this actor is consistently overly rude. Changing the occupation affects the default power distance this actor has over others. Note that this may also be culturally sensitive. In the Relationships sections, the user can specify the relationship this actor has with others. In this example, Ahmed holds certain beliefs about the other actors. The user can modify those beliefs. For example, we can change the character value to 6, meaning that Ahmed believes Yusuf is a very polite individual. We can also change the power distance so that Ahmed has a great deal of power over Yusuf and low social distance meaning they are perhaps friends or colleagues as opposed to strangers or antagonists. So, using this page, one can customize the relationships between actors so they better reflect rehearsal needs. For this demonstration, we have designed a scenario where the human user is to ask a stranger for a favor. The imposition attribute describes the severity of the favor being asked. A high value means the speaker is making a large imposition, such as borrowing a large sum of money, which in turn means one may need to be very polite when expressing this request. A value closer to zero means it is a small request, such as asking for the time. A negative value means the speaker is asking something that is actually beneficial to the addressee. An example of this might be to offer to give someone a ride or to lend them a book. We have created this scenario using English and Modern Standard Arabic. Interactive Phrasebook allows content providers to add other languages and cultures so that different cultural modules may be swapped in. Phrases available for selection are shown in the list box and can be displayed in English, Arabic, or the English pronunciation. In our current scenario, the user can only speak to one actor. In later versions, however, we may select different actors to speak with as we progress along the same scenario. We may sort the available phrases by redress, that is, how much politeness strategies are employed, or by appropriateness. The most polite phrases may not always be appropriate. 
The idea is that one wants to balance the amount of politeness with what the situation calls for. It is inappropriate to be overly rude to your boss, but it is just as inappropriate to be overly polite with a close friend. Further, sometimes one may wish to be slightly more rude to, say, establish authority, or more polite to build rapport. For each phrase, we may select audio to listen to the Arabic pronunciation. If there is a gesture associated with this phrase, we may select video to view the gesture. A check mark means we have chosen to perform the gesture, and that may vary the politeness of the phrase. When we select a phrase, it appears on the bottom, and the addressee's response appears below it. The politeness of the phrase we have chosen is displayed below. A value to the right means it was more polite than expected, and a value to the left means it was more rude than expected. Once a phrase has been selected and the addressee has responded, the set of next candidate phrases is updated in the list at the top. We can then select the next phrase and progress along the scenario. Note that at any time we may enter the review mode where we can look at the interaction history. Once again, we can play back the audio and video of each phrase. The review mode provides detailed information about the perceived politeness level of each phrase. Further, we can examine the conversation from the perspectives of different observers. In this case, since Ahmed's phrase is selected, Ahmed is the speaker and Yusuf is the addressee. The observer specified is Ahmed. That means we are examining Ahmed's beliefs about this conversation. The expected redress display represents how much politeness Ahmed believes is expected of him. The selection redress display represents how much politeness Ahmed actually used in his phrase. The imbalance display represents the difference between what was expected and what was actually used. In addition to examining each phrase, Interactive Phrasebook also has a pronunciation key for the Arabic alphabet. The user can listen to the audio and toggle between English, Arabic, and the pronunciation as written in English.